Hello, I'm Chris at DCD, and this is how you grease a swivel. We're going to start with a smaller unit, the 503204. So this is a dub light HDD underground swivel, rated at 8,500 pounds. For this unit and our other dub lights, there's a grease fitting on the side. On the larger units, it's between the clevisiers, and it's not going to have a relief valve. For these units, when you're purging the grease, it's going to come out from the split line. So you want to select a grease that's compatible. DCD uses and sells a lithium complex grease. It's the Renolit S2TX, but we have a table of compatibilities. In case you use a different grease, just make sure it's compatible and you're going to want something with EP additives. So for this swivel, you're going to use your, your hand grease gun, connect it to your grease zerk securely and pump slowly. until you have grease coming out the split line. So you can continue purging until that all comes through and, and you're seeing clean grease. For a maxi dub swivel, the best place to start is with your operator's manual. It'll give you your serial number, it'll give you the locations of the, the grease zerk and the grease relief valve. But I'll walk through the example for a 220 Your grease zerk is going to be located on the fixed end between the clevisiers. On this, we have the, the mounting holes for eye bolts. And there's pipe plugs here that go between the seal cover and the shaft. That's located on either side. So these holes we're going to leave for this example. What we want to focus on now is the relief valve, which would be mounted on the side of the seal cover, covered under a pipe plug. If you have an older revision, your relief valve could be in the center of the box end. And you, you, you will have a a viewing port on the side here. So you start by removing the pipe plug over the grease zerk. You take that clear out and you'll have a pipe plug over top of the relief valve on this end. And that comes out. You want to remove the pipe plug and the relief valve on both sides of the seal cover. So the reason that we take the relief valve out is to ensure that we don't create any back pressure when we're adding grease. On the newer versions, it's not such a concern, but still it's something that we should take care of. Um, the Swivel is a solid chamber. Grease is not very compressible. So when we add grease too fast, it's going to quickly create a lot of pressure on that, uh, on that seal. And if you create too much pressure on the seal, it's going to flip. If you get grease coming out of the split line, that means you flipped your seal and that's not good. Stop there. Don't use the swivel. That seal cover needs to come off. The seal needs to be inspected. Make sure it's not kinked or damaged and reinstalled properly. Seal cover goes back on before you go any further. Once you have your relief valves out, you connect your hand grease pump to your Zerk and pump slowly through. And then you can observe that it's starting to come out on this end. And you can inspect your grease. You can check for any grit for oxidation to see if there's uh, any material, any ingress that uh, occurred. And you can continue to pump that out until it purges clean. Once that's done, you reinstall your relief valves. So it's nice and tight. Reinstall your pipe plugs over the relief valves on both sides. Reinstall your pipe plug over the zerk and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. That's how you grease a swivel.